You keep saying that, but what if we can't get out? What if we're stuck here? What if this is the but way... we that... can't think like that. Well, there's life, there's hope. And if there isn't life? What is that supposed to mean? Grodd needs me to open the breach so he can attack Earth One. What if I wasn't alive to do that? You planning on dying? Only if you kill me. <laughs> Look, this is something we have to consider. Right now, I can't think of any other way to stop them. They'd have no other way of getting to Central City. He's right. Cisco's death would change the newspaper headline in the future. Headline. It's a long story. But it would also make another one come true. The one about Killer Frost. You want me to kill you? Think about it. Rod doesn't know you have cold powers. You might be able to use them. Cold powers? She, you have cold powers. I knew it. I knew that you and I did not get Barry out of that mirror. Wait, Caitlin. If you kill someone, there's no going back. You'll be Killer Frost for the rest of your life. Now, I did not come all this way to see that happen. Did you come here because you live for danger or to protect me? I just don't want to see you become something you're not. Okay, Cisco. I'm not gonna kill you, and neither is anyone else, okay? So let's come up with the next best plan that doesn't involve murdering one of our friends. No, Cisco's right. It's the only way. One of us has to die. Violently. And then he crushed his side and killed over. The injury, it, it must have ruptured one of his kidneys. He went into shock. His heart stopped. I couldn't resist him. of no use to me anyway. Too much, did I? No, I'm good. Well then, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. Go. All right. Let's go. 